Hi there. Welcome to study with Sharnali. In this video we will learn about tools of recombinant DNA technology. To understand the tools of recombinant DNA technology, let's look at the broad picture of process of recombinant DNA technology. First, a bacterial strain is chosen. Then, the plasmid which is an extracircular DNA is extracted from the bacteria which can replicate itself to number of copies. At second step, restriction enzyme cuts the plasmid at a particular recognition site which forms some sticky ends. The same restriction enzyme cuts our gene of interest, in this case the human insulin gene and DNA ligase joins the two different DNA pairs forming recombinant DNA. In next step, the recombinant DNA is incorporated in E. coli bacteria for cloning the desired gene and as the bacteria contains our recombinant DNA, it is called genetically modified bacteria. This bacterium replicates itself and produces insulin protein. This, this goes, goes through, through some biochemical, biochemical processes, processes like, like fermentation, purification, purification etc. for obtaining the final product. That was the summary of genetic engineering. If you don't know what is genetic engineering, then do check out the link at the i button. Tools of recombinant DNA technology includes enzymes, cloning vector, competent host. Now, what is cloning vector? DNA molecules having ability to carry foreign DNA and replicate with itself is cloning vector like plasmid, bacteriophage, cosmid, yag, bac, etc. are the example of cloning vector. Now, enzymes. For example, restriction enzyme cuts DNA part of vector and ligase joins the two different DNA together forming recombinant DNA. To understand the vector, let's take an example. She is Toshiva and she wants to go to her school but the road to her school is not that good so she can't go there by walking for that she need a vehicle. Now. She can go to school very easily in vehicle. The concept is quite similar here. Our gene of interest is transferred to bacteria through vector. Let's look at the reasons behind using vector in recombinant DNA technology. Plasmid and bacteriophages can replicate themselves within the bacteria cell and in numerous number of copies. So, they also replicate themselves to higher number. It can be higher than 100 also. This can be a bone for replicating our desired gene. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Scientists took advantage of this that is the replication power of plasmid and bacteria and thought if we can link a desired DNA piece to that plasmid then our desired DNA part will also get multiplied right as the number of copies of the plasmid like 2 to 4, 4 to 8 and like that as the more copies of gene equals to more product. Now here you can see the real picture of plasmid under microscope how a plasmid actually looks like under the microscope. For example, the plasmids of E. coli bacteria. Let's take another example to understand the vector. Imagine you want to go to USA and you don't need a rocket for that, an aeroplane is enough for it. But if you want to go to a uh, nearby city, a cycle will be better for that, right? But if the distance is quite more, then a scooter will be better than cycle. But if you want to go to another state, then instead of scooter, a car will be better to travel greater distance. So depending on the need, you will choose that vehicle which will contain the features for the work to be done. The concept is quite similar here. We want some features to be there in the vectors which can be used for genetic engineering. Like origin of replication, 
replication starts from somewhere right and this is the sequence from where the replication starts so it is named as ori that is origin of replication now selectable marker after replication how can you recognize which bacteria has taken the plasmid and which has not very confusing right so in that moment a gene expression comes to rescue yes the plasmid contains some antibiotic resistant gene against like ampicillin tetracycline chamomycin etc so when bacteria are introduced to such antibiotics then those bacteria which has taken the plasmid that contains our antibiotic resistant gene will survive and those who haven't taken the plasmid that contains the antibiotic resistant gene will die as normal bacteria do not contain any antibiotic resistant gene this way we can determine which bacteria has taken the recombinant plasmid and which is not so this antibiotic resistant gene is working as a marker for selection of the desired bacteria that is why these genes of plasmid dna are called selectable marker let's look at a image of plasmid to visualize the features of the plasmid here you can see the origin of replication from where the replication starts there is a selectable marker site for uh, for example ampicillin or tetracycline and there is a cloning site or recognition site where restriction enzyme makes the cut and the desired dna part is added cloning site is the short segment of the plasmid dna which contains recognition site for restriction enzyme to make cut to understand this let's take the example of pbr322 please listen this part carefully pbr322 is an plasmid that contains multiple cloning sites these cloning sites are present on the selectable markers like antibiotic resistant gene ampicillin tetracycline the cloning sites are nothing but the dna segments of the plasmid that is specific to the restriction enzymes like if we want any restriction enzyme to make a cut on the plasmid then it cannot cut just anywhere randomly right it must make cut at a specific site so these cloning sites serves as a specific site for specific enzyme like the site or the segment which is specific to the hin3 restriction enzyme is known as hin3 region so cloning sites are the sites specific to some restriction enzyme to make cut and join the desired gene for cloning this enzyme creates sticky ends if you have any confusion then do write in the comment section below i will try to answer all this and the most fascinating fact is that all these things take place in the test tube in the laboratory thank you for watching if you like the video do like share and subscribe